another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're starting a brand new series onto the channel what's it gonna be i have no idea you guys obviously well you've seen the title of the video you've seen the thumbnail but this is where i go and select the next one from the votes you guys have cast in the polls that we run in the description all of the tv shows that are on there are from you guys leaving comments into the video so please do get commenting on the next show you would like and i can add it to the poll after selecting today's obviously new series westworld is the winner very very interesting i have no idea what this is about like i was saying all these shows that i put on there are from you guys obviously leaving comments in the description and now i'm so excited to see why everybody would like me to react to this we've had so many good ones that i would never have even considered that we've uploaded to a channel and proper got behind and well interested in and uh, yeah this is hopefully another great show so i cannot wait to see what we have in store for us thanks for selecting obviously this show and obviously voting for all the different stuff that we do run on the channel as mentioned if you'd like to vote on the next one please do get voting links in the description and uh, maybe we could be watching your show next but currently westworld season one cannot wait let's jump into the first episode <laughs> Would you like to wake up from this dream? Yes, I'm terrified. Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? No. Some people choose to see the ugliness in this world, the disarray. I choose to see the beauty. Morning, Daddy. You sleep well? Well enough. There is an order to our days. What do you think of the guests? You mean the newcomers? I like to remember what my father taught me, that at one point or another, we were all new to this world. Oh, God. It's incredible. Better be for what we're paying. Rye whiskey. What about it? What ain't doing any good sitting in that bottle? Not much of a rind on you. I'll give you a discount. We have no offense, but I'd rather earn a woman's affection than pay for it. I never cease to wonder that, that any day, the course of my whole life could change with just one chance encounter. Just trying to look chivalrous. You came back. I told you I would. How sick that looks. There's a path for everyone. Your path leads you back to me. Same as I know, my daddy still won't be happy to see me. I still, still have no like indication of what what the story's about yet. Ah. I'm in no rush to meet my judgment. I'm more sure of the outcome than you, you son of a. Of it is, you killed the old woman before any of us could have a turn. Warm enough. Nobody gonna judge you for it. Daddy! Daddy! You'll be falling right behind him, you son of a bitch! I've been coming here for 30 years. You still don't remember me, do you? How about I give you the first shot? Hey, did he just say? What if I told oh. you that you can't hurt the newcomers and that they can do anything they want to you? He looks cool in one. You're here to be the loser. Come on, beautiful. <laughs> He's going to shoot him now, but not kill him. I want you to fight. I'm not expecting him to die. I thought he was just going to shoot him in the arm. Feels good to be back. Every new person I meet reminds me how lucky I am to be alive. And how beautiful this world can be. What's going on there? Mate, that was a pretty good start, that. I, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> I'm not going to be honest. I thought it might have been about robots. Uh, because the opening intro, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. I thought it might have been about robots. I just think the opening intro and logo, I thought it was going to be futuristic. And then we dived in here and it's like western -y. So, like, is it a western? And if it is, I, I'm, I'm all for it. How cool does he look, mate? That guy then who just come over who couldn't get shot. But then why can't he get shot? Do you know what I mean? Like, why has he hit him a few times with no impact? And they say that that's the... Is they say she called Dolores. But the first woman that was laid down, she had dark hair. And then I, I'm pretty sure did the woman who leaves the house whose dad just got killed, did she have dark hair at the time? But then obviously now she's got blonde hair. Is it the same person? I don't know, I'm a bit confused. I'm liking it though. It, that was that was a good start. Wait, we're starting again. See, she did have brown hair. Okay, so look at th this does look like robots, this one. I wonder if they created that guy that just come and took her. He was a girl talking to him. That's not standard. Lucky in the update. 
It's a whole new class of gestures. The old gestures were just generic movements. These are tied to specific memories. Oh, you're trying to test the response. It's my, this is pretty mad, mate. The hosts can't hurt you by design. You don't have kids at home, do you, Bernard? If you did, you'd know that they all rebel eventually. They're only yours until they stop working, Bernard. Then they're mine. Stop. Unless you plan to decommission the boss. You still got the box to pick Cherry come in. <laughs> no, I'll take to that. Seen a few showdowns in my day. More than you know. I'm assuming he tests each one then. We drink to the lady with the white shoe. Perhaps we better drink to a deep and dreamless slumber. I saw the new gestures, the reveries. Too beautiful. The distance you've traveled from then till now, it's, it's remarkable. You headed out to set down some of this natural splendor? After my errands, of course. See you home before dark. That bandit who gunned down the marshal still hiding up there in the hills. I am what I am because of you, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I know, Daddy. I'll be home before dark. Hector Escaton gunned down the marshal. He's now holed up in the mountain. You there. You look like the kind of man put his metal to it. It's changed, but why? Ain't something about new new people. Hey, wait, I know that one. Yeah. Last trip, this dude showed me around. What's a good word, Teddy? One else. Mighty kind of you. Not as sweet as you. Place your best, gentlemen. Place your best. It's different now. It actually is different. Yeah. Looks like Hector's been this way. Any idea how much longer it's going to take? Well, my wife doesn't want to be up here after dark. When we... Look, he's malfunctioning. What the fuck is wrong with it? You updated the guy, and uh -huh. now he's a six-foot gourd with epilepsy. We call all updated hosts until you can figure it out. We sell complete immersion in a hundred interconnected narratives. Now, you pull one character, the overall story adjusts. We have 1,400 guests in the park. I need to know if they're in any danger. His core code is intact. Can't hurt a guest. He literally couldn't hurt a fly. Right, before we get into this, right, I keep calling them guests. I picked it up. Guest, guest, guest. Yeah? But, like, they, I'm assuming that these have created the world, i.e. that sheriff guy, and people pay to go into this world um, because the people that first got off the train was like, wow, it's amazing or something. And then the guy was like, yeah, it better be for how much I'm paying. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I'm assuming that... Yeah, like it's a place like these create characters and place them into the world like that that spinning map thing and people pay to go inside because like it sounds like it's a game. Do you know what I mean? Or something because she's like, mate, we need to pull the 10% population. That guy's like, mate, if you pull even like 5%, all the storylines change. Do you know what I mean? It affects everybody. And then she was like, yeah, but storylines change when you did, your guests decide to go and fight or kill somebody or go and like sleep with somebody. And do you know what I mean? So that is interesting. But again, if it is guests that are coming into the game, then how did we restart it with, you know what I mean? That guy went to the house and, and shot and had a fight. And it, it changed, didn't it, with that Delorius? So that first scene, the dad died. He went over and killed them. Then that guy come in, killed him, took her. And then we started again. But he was on the train this time and he was asleep and he woke up. You know what I mean? And he got off and bumped it into that guy and his hat fell off. And he didn't get called off by the sheriff. So... It happened again, but a different a different scenario. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, literally. Like, it is interesting, though. This place is fucking wild. This is basic. Level one is from when Man Teddy comes in. He's like a, he's like a guide. Honestly, that kind of creeps me out. He leads us out in the canyons. We get bored. We just use him for target practice. We didn't mean to bother you. It's a beautiful spot. I always find it a shame that I have it all to myself. Don't be scared. They're very gentle. Your hand out real flat. They're beautiful, aren't they? You're one of them, aren't you? You're not real. Uh, I wonder if the not real start to get a conscience. I mean, I wonder if these start to stink on their own. Do you know what I mean? And that's where it goes west. Westworld, eh? <laughs> you waiting up for me, Daddy? Have you ever seen anything like this place? All right. Yeah. Look, she's in modern day. Wow, that facility is mad. Gordon Bernard 
keep making the things more lifelike. But does anyone truly want that? Do you want to think that your husband is really fucking that beautiful girl or that you really just shot someone? This place works because the guests know the hosts aren't real. I was saying... You were saying, should our fearless leader have a breakdown? You want to leverage it for your career. Listen, changing our regard is long overdue. Smart enough to guess there's a bigger picture, but not smart enough to see what it is. You know how much use that makes your support to me? Fuck off. You'll have more rich assholes to gratify tomorrow. I agree with him though, right? In that situation there where he's saying, look mate, we didn't need to roll out an update. Updates, in my personal opinion, in everything, whether it's phones, watches, you know what I mean, PlayStation, whatever. An update should only be updated when something starts to become slow or corrupt or an error. So if it's working fine, it's the same old saying. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Don't start making it better or trying to make it better when nobody's asked for it because nobody cares because it's already good enough. Like, that is the thing. Like, people think that you always want the next thing and the next thing, but nobody cares. Everybody likes what they've got when it works perfectly fine. You only change your phone because you put an extra one megapixel into a camera and you make the battery a little bit better. But how about if you made everything that you currently had perfect nobody would need that upgrade everybody keeps making things better it's like the film that's come out megan don't know if you've seen it we're going to do a spoiler in that she wanted to create didn't she, a product so that children can play with like a real life doll but then she started doing updates making it smarter and smarter it started just replacing humans it started to act talk become a sister pretty much dead protective it was a next level instead of it being a purpose of entertaining the kid it become a purpose of living and being the best friend the, the mum and like you've gone too far it didn't need to be no one asked for that and it's here he's trying to make the updates too realistic so like you're living in a realistic world when really well realistically the intention was a game and people knew that it was in a game but when a game becomes reality and you can't you know change your mind between the two zones it's too much and i get what he's saying he was trying to do that for his own advantage but the concept of what he's saying i probably do agree with early night Maeve. feeling a bit out of sorts clementine can pick up the slack you getting something kizzy i'm beginning to think you're getting sweet on me well, i'm counting you being half corn husker yeah yeah we'll cut your fucking throat oh cut your throat good as new again huh was that his son? You see the one that I spoke to who was doing the drawing? Not gonna die this time, Arnold. You can't have none. Ain't for you. Wow. What's your obsession with milk? We're a growing boy. Oh, look. Been stopped. We got two guests inside. We'll go talk to them. Supposed to turn on each other. Only if a guest takes them on the High Sierra storyline, and Walter always buys it. Confirms the problem was part of the update. We can uh, clean them up and put them back in service. Hosts are supposed to stay within their loops, stick to their scripts. This isn't a minor improvisation. This is a fucking shitstorm. Only seems fair. It's the code you added, sir. The, the reveries. It has some uh, mistakes. You must indulge me the occasional mistake. I'm assuming that's how they create the bodies then in here. But I reckon one's gonna go rogue me somehow come alive and go after real life society. Oh, he's not even dead. So much blood I left in you. Guy thinks he's getting away. <laughs> Unless he's just gonna run off that cliff. What do you want? You know about games. I don't, I don't play on the deal. Who said anything about you playing? There's a deeper level to this game. You're gonna show me how to get there. Do you mean he's a guest in the game? Start again. Guest in the game, and uh, he's trying to f uncover something. Daddy, you've been out here all night. That's a question. A question you're not supposed to ask. Which can be an answer. Like to know. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. You should go. Leave. Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. Ah, uh, what's he whispering to her? Away. My father's very ill. I think we best stay put. With considerable effort and lack of sleep, I've managed to massage events to inspire Hector to head to town a week early. That's the sheriff's horse, you son of a bitch. Ah. 
hasn't seen that. So what I was trying to figure out now, is this a guest or, or a host? He's got one shot on a her, mate. See, you said that same line before, but now it's a different scenario. No matter how dirty the business, doing well. You should take this sweet little bitch. Oh. Oh. Yo, that was a good visual of his head popping. <laughs> the lesson is. Oh, he shot him. Oh, hey, he got him. He got him. <laughs> he, he got him. Hey, that's that's pretty good. So he's a player in there, I guess. Or... <laughs> that was good, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I actually love that, you know. I actually do love that. Look, she's in the game, though. She was the one that was creating them before. How is she in that? Well, it's in that visual there, isn't it? Soon this will feel like a distant dream. Until then, may you rest in a deep and dreamless slumber. Any preliminary results? Most of them are checking out fine. We had one who definitely was not. Well, the guy with the cowboy hat, yeah, who killed that, cut the guy's neck. Is he, is he part of the game or what? Or is he a guest? Still want to know. <laughs> oh, she's on pine in modern day. No emotional affect. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling quite myself. Who's the accent? You know where you are? I'm in a dream. Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? No. Is anyone around you? Yeah. He was scared. He wasn't thinking right. Didn't look like anything to me. She actually said that though, didn't she? If he breached, he needs to be put down. That's the policy. Well, tell me, what happened to your program? Acting so good. When we are born, we cry. We all come to this great stage of that is enough. Do you have access to your previous configuration? Yes. Access that, please. What are your drives? You look after my wife. Your final drive? My daughter Dolores, of course. I, 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 I have to warn her. The things she do to her. I have to protect her. Access your current build. What is your name? Rose. You say Rose. What is your itinerary? To meet my maker. I am most mechanical and dirty hand. Oh, this guy's acting to be amazing. I shall have such revenges on you. You don't know where you are, do you? You're in a prison of your own sins. Turn it off. What the hell was that? Sick, that's what it was. He's off script. We've used this host in a number of different roles, have we not? Remembering all of his stuff. The dinner party. New course for Alarm Bernard. Simply our old work coming back to haunt us. These violent delights have violent ends. Does that mean anything to you? No. Yo, the acting's so sick, honestly, it really is. Have you ever heard a living thing? No, of course not. You don't think any of that had an impact on her core code? You know why she's special? She's been repaired so many times, she's practically brand new. She's the oldest host in the park. Some people choose to see the ugliness in this world. Oh, that's a start. You heard this? Sleep well? Oh, well enough. Oh, he's changed. Look, do you reckon these two are getting decommissioned because they've gone off script? To believe there is an order to our days. A purpose. Oh, he's got a mat. I can't believe you guys cut his, like, top of his head off. Do you reckon she's... Do you reckon she's going to swap that fly? I knew it, mate. I fucking knew it because none of them done it last time, so our code's changed. That's pretty good. You know what? It, this this was good, mate, because I still kind of don't know what's going on, but, like, I kind of do now, but I don't. I'm well interested. I thought the last 10, 15 minutes of acting, especially her dad, was sick. And do you know what, right? Just try an actual robotic. It's fucking solid. It actually is like, you see her sat there and her eyes are just like forward and she was just like numb. 
no and she changed her accent as well you know did she have a southern one and he was like yeah i lose that accent and then she went to normal and then you know she's answering questions and he saying she's the oldest one there and they've mentioned as well a few times that um you know the cold pretty much you know what i mean well he was just saying there that some people have had many many bodies and, and like person personalities and like roles like in in the park so to speak you know like he was a sheriff he's a dad before he was like a cannibal i'm thinking that all of those are like combining together and he's creating like a memory but again i noticed i knew that she was going to swap that fly because it was just i don't know at the start we seen it didn't we? it went on and it went did it go on was it her eye and then a couple of other times i seen it on the face walking down and stuff and then i just i just knew that it, she was going to hit it then so that means now she's getting a to me anyway she's getting a conscience or she's becoming more real and like they do you can take them out from being in the fake world into the real world but in the real world they tell them that they're what what was he saying to her? Like basically, he was he was saying that it's a dream. That's what he's saying. So like, she knows that she's there, but it's supposed to be a dream. But also, they they consistently asking like, are you a threat to people? And she was like, no. But I think that's what they need to test because in there you have hosts and you have players. It seems and like our guests. And, like, the guest at the end who shot that guy, he was loving it, getting his picture took, which I thought was actually a really good twist. But the thing is, as well, you know, we seen it earlier, one of the guys that just got decommissioned then, he went rogue, didn't he? Well, at the start, he went to rob her, shot her dad, then he went to go and sleep with a dead mum, and then he come in and killed him, and he was pouring the milk. And then, fast forward, he went into another place, into the bar, and he was shooting everybody up and pouring the milk. And he went outside and he was pouring it on that bod end and he paused the game, didn't he? Because there was two people inside that was guests. And then obviously he was supposed to be doing that, but he went hardcore. Do you know what I mean? He was supposed to cause a bit of violence, a bit of chaos, kill a few people, but not to the extreme lengths he did. It was too detailed. Do you know what I mean? It should have just been shot, shot, shot. This time it's shoot them, drink the milk, pour it on the head, show the emotions, go outside, torture. Do you know what I mean? It's too advanced. And like that guy was saying when he went onto the bridge, yeah, it's good, and he's putting all these updates in, but don't need it. You get too realistic. We have a we have, we have a line right now where the people come and they know they're playing the game, and the people in there know that it's a game, and you can see the cross between the two realities. This guy's doing an update, and it's getting more and more and more, and you're merging into one. And like you just seen there, her swatting the thing, she's becoming, she's getting a conscience because the updates are getting too real. I thought it was really good. I did think it was sick, to be honest. Okay, and that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to watch the full episodes, they are available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. That's for all future videos, just for reference. So, very interesting stuff. Have I read it right? It's pretty much like a game. All these people inside it, like Dolores and the dad, uh, they're all part of it. You know, they're created by the people on the outside, and people pay to transform themselves on the inside to have the experience. Now, realistically, you have the chaos of the Westerny stuff. You have the fights, you have the killing, do you know what I mean? The kidnappings. You can go on missions and, and you know, like, mooches around the, the island or the, the planet or whatever you want to call it. But in reality, the guests, they should never actually be injured. So like I was saying, just then when he was in the bar, that guy was going around killing everybody. He left the two guests, even though they were scared. But the other guy... You know, he first went up into the mountains with the sheriff to try and catch this guy. And, um, you know, the first time he kind of malfunctioned and they restarted it. And then this time the guys come to steal from the bar and he's ended up turning up and shooting him and killing him. And he was loving it, wasn't he? He was cheering. It was unexpected. I liked it. And he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. get the photographers in. And he's getting his pictures taken. So he's getting his money's worth. That guy, isn't he? Let's be honest, he actually is. And he didn't get injured. But the interesting thing is on the storyline, we've seen it. It restarted like four times i think it's restarted to be honest um and each time it's it's changed you know what i mean i, I didn't pick up honestly right? i did not pick up on the guy's name uh who come on the train at the very start the one that she kind of fancies you know i mean the one that went to try and save her dad and who shot that first guy who's getting hit and who didn't die him his story each time the game kind of restarted changed or, or like the scenarios that he was finding himself into so i don't know if that's meant to happen or if it's because obviously the different things that are happening inside the world do you know what i mean so if there's a guest in there and he interrupts a guy who was supposed to speak to him the first time do you know what i mean if he's acknowledging him then he's got a pathway to go to a different person which then changes the path of the next action do you know what i mean it's kind of one of those but i do think it's interesting that the people from 
I'm just going to call it Earth and, and Fate World right now. Like, people from the Earth can go into the Fate World. Do you know what I mean? You're seeing it. She went in there. She decommissioned her. Um, but also, like, they could be extracted out and brought into the real world, like, when he was getting checked for testing. Just like how he, like, grabbed him and he was talking about the stuff. And like I said, mate, the acting was really good and she was there being all robotic. And like I said, mate, she's back in this world and she's got feelings now. The one thing that I want to know is the guy, yeah, who turned up, with the cowboy on at the start who obviously killed him and grabbed her and pulled her into that kind of barn and shut the door and then he turned up uh cut the guy's throat pulled him up onto the mountain and then cut his head off and got this map who is it who is that guy where's he trying to go he was saying that there's more levels now levels was mentioned twice or three times basically that dude was in that place um sleeping with loads of people and drinking and he was like mate you know what i mean this is well good and then the guy said to him look mate this is only level one do you know what i mean there's, there's way more levels this guy out here he could take us there and he was like yeah but you know guy's pretty weird uh now how many levels is there do you know what i mean like he's the guy who cut the head off was saying it goes deeper than this but where? Where's he trying to go? What's he trying to achieve? And is he a player? You know what I mean? Is he someone who's paid to get in the game? Or is he one of the the people that have been created for the game? He's gone rogue and he's not noticed yet. Those are my questions. It's really interesting. I actually really did like the episode. It was really fascinating. Got my mind going, questioning, guessing. If you've been following the channel a lot, you know that I do like that stuff. You know, you pause it, you're thinking, shit, you know, what's going on there? What's the next path? What's he trying to achieve? That type of stuff gets me going, mate. I really do enjoy it. Thanks for checking out today's episode. If you did like it, please hit the like button. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.